welcome back now in this video we will create a circular border radius right in here a circular shape and inside of that there will be a camera icon from which the user can simply tap on it and upload their profile picture so we're gonna implement that now so let's go and do that so below this cache network image in here you will have a container widget so we will say container in here comma so right inside that first we will set the background color so in here we will set colors we will go with the black 54 and now if I press the control S you guys will notice right in here it's gonna be a little dim a little black color right in here you can simply hold to load the app and if you guys did that already there is no need of that just simply press the control s and you guys will notice the output there we go so it's a little black and shared so that's fine let's move further in here we will say child and right in the child we will do some padding in there padding edge in fact as usual we will go with the symmetric one in which we will set the horizontal to 16 and we will set the vertical to 80 let's find right in here now child list view and and there is a children right in the children we will have form widget in here comma right inside that it will take some property the first one will be key first we will go and create a global key for the sign of form key so right at top we will go and let's create that and down in here we will say final and then underscore sign up there we go and form key we can name that and in here we will say global key I have already tell you about that right in the login why we add that in here so in here form state and there we go with the global key it basically create a label global key which is a global key with a label that basically use for debugging now we will use that let's go down and right in the form in here we will say key and in here we will have that sign up form key in here there you go right after you have a child and right in the child you have a column widget right in the column widget you have a children and right in the children you have a gesture detector which will simply contain the on tap email whenever the user will press on the camera icon or tap on it it will simply take the user to the show image dialog which will contain the camera option and the gallery option you will implement that right in the next videos for now we are implementing the design so you will get the idea later on for now this gesture detector will contain the on tap event so in here comma first and tag this down you will say on tap in here you will leave this empty for now but later on we will create a method and call upon on that right in this on tap event so in here we will leave a comment so that we can remember later on so we will say in here create show image dialog method we will create that which will contain all of the working for selecting the image through camera or through gallery it will contain that so in here we leave a comment we will work on that later for now we don't need this now let's move further right after in here we will say child and let's do some padding as usual edge insert so we will go with the dot all we will set it to 8.0 and then in here we will say child and right in the child we will have a container widget in which we will simply set the width height and also the decoration for the 
circular border radius in which we will simply show the camera icon from there the user can select their picture so first we will go right in here widget build and here we will create size type size now we will assign to that media query dot of contacts and then we will say dot size basically it will contain size of the screen whatever it will be so it simply means that now we will go and use that so right in here in the container widget in here we will say width and let's do that now so type size in here and then you'll say width and then multiply it by 0 0.24% I will tag that and right after height we're gonna say type size and then we will say width and divide it by also 0 0.24% it's gonna tag that the width and the height whatever the screen it will be so right after now let's do the decoration in here box decoration and right in there let's set the border so border we will go with the dot all let's set the width to one and the color will be colors we'll go with the cyan accent that's fine come in here and also in here as you guys can see now right out of let's set the border radius for that so in here we will say border radius and it's going to be circular so dot circular we're going to set it to 20 as you guys can see right in here now in here add the constant modifier and now if i press the control s i have already how to load the app okay if you didn't then simply click in here and hold reload the app so I have already did it so I will simply press the control S and see the output there we go with a circular border radius as you guys can see right in here and if you guys want to change that you can play with it in here let's say 100 it's gonna look like that but I'll go with the first one that is fine now let's go further and in here we will say child and right in the child we will say clip or react that first one in which we will simply first set the border radius and border radius is going to be dot circular is going to be for the image so we will set it to 16 and right after child and right in the child we're going to need a variable as a file type so we're gonna go right at top and let's create that so right in here below this global key in here we will say file as you guys can see and we're gonna name this as an image file which will basically contain the user image and now it's empty and in this one I'll show you the error, just simply import the library .io as you guys can see right in here, import that, it's automatically imported, so in your case, if it didn't, then simply click in here and there will be a red bow and simply import the .io as you guys can see right in here and you can manually write in here that library, so we are done in here with the image file as a file type. And basically that file is a reference to a file on the file system that file basically holds a path on which the operation can be performed as I told you before that image file will contain the image that the user will select and update it's gonna be right in the image file then for now that image file is totally empty as you guys know now we will move down and right in the child we will say image file if it's equal to null in that case what we will do right in the if we will simply show the camera icon 
so in your icons with a camera enhance shot we will show that and also let's set the color for that we will go with the colors dot let's go with the cyan as you guys can see right in here and also let's set the size for that we will make it a little bit big so make it to 30 and right in here we will say else and we will simply show them the image file in case of if the image file not equal to null i will explain that again in detail so don't worry about that first let me complete that so in here we will say image file null check and then simply we will fit it box fit dot fill in here first we will add the constant modifier just to remove that yellow line in here as you guys can see already so I'll click in here and click on this bulb add that constant modifier all fine in here now let me explain that so basically that image file if it's equal to no in that case right in the if we will show the camera icon and in else right in here if the image file not equal to no then we will simply show the image file that the user will update and select so for now as you guys know that image file is totally empty so it's gonna be equal to no so if it's equal to no then you will simply show that camera icon and later on whenever we done with the sign up screen and we will register an email and create an account then we will simply update our profile image for that current user and it's going to be then right in the image file so then that image file will not be equal to now then it will simply run that image file that the user will update and select so for now as you guys know that image file is equal to now so it will show that camera icon so now we will simply put comma first in here and let press the control s and see the output there we go with the camera icon as you guys can see in here so it's working totally fine and this video is becoming a little lengthy so we will end this right in here and right from the next video we will work further right in that sign up screen so see ya